Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 10. I'm Rick Chambers. And I'm Green Winter. We begin with breaking news in Beverly Hills. We're on the scene of a stabbing that left one man dead. Yeah, a good Samaritan tried to step in and help out. Rachel Menatoff joining us live from Beverly Hills. She spoke with that man. Rachel. Rick Kareen, it's still a very active situation over here, as you can probably tell. All of South Spalding Drive is blocked off up until Wil Wilshire Boulevard. What we know so far is there was a confrontation here between two men. When officers arrived, they found one of the men suffering from stab wounds. He was taken to the hospital and later died. The other man involved is apparently cooperating with police. Let's go ahead and show you some of the cell phone video taken shortly after this happened. The confrontation took place around 2.30 this afternoon. From what witnesses tell us, uh, a father was walking with his child when a man came up from behind them and began attacking. A good Samaritan driving by saw the attack in progress and tried to intervene. The perpetrator then let go of the father and child, turned his attention to the good Samaritan. He apparently reached into the man's car and tried to grab his dog. The good Samaritan began punching the perpetrator to try to deter him. We spoke to this man who was trying to help. He wants to remain anonymous but recounts to us what happened. There was a man who was either on drugs or uh, he had uh, an extreme sort of psychosis who um, we drove up, saw him attacking a uh, man with a child who, who was carrying her. Um, so we realized we needed to do something. So we kind of pulled up into the intersection um, to kind of startle him, which seemed to have worked because then he let them go. And then I told my son to go kind of check out, like help the kid. And then in the meantime, the guy came around to the other side, to the driver's side. And uh, my, I rolled up my window, but I didn't realize my back window was down where my dog was. So he reached in, came all the way inside the car, grabbed the dog, and started pulling her out. I then sort of came back into the back of the car and tried to uh, pull her back. He wouldn't let go and I could see his face. There was something like he just wasn't registering what was going on. Now we still have some questions tonight. We don't know who stabbed whom and who died as a result of their injuries. Beverly Hills Police is not providing any more information as to what happened tonight. They tell us that all updates will come at some point tomorrow. That's the latest from Beverly Hills. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Rick Kareen, back to you in studio. All right.